Now let us solve question number 8 from problem set 1. The question is in the figure given segment PA, segment QB, segment RC and segment SD are perpendicular to line AD. AB is equal to 60, BC is equal to 70, CD is equal to 80 and PS is equal to 280. Then find PQ, QR and RS. Let us consider a diagram. The given measures are AB is equal to 60, BC is equal to 70 and CD is equal to 80. At the same time, this PS is equal to 280. They have asked us to find out PQ, QR and RS measures. Let us start the solution. As given, segment PA is perpendicular to line AD. Segment QB is perpendicular to line AD. Similarly, seg RC is also perpendicular to line AD and seg SD is also perpendicular to line AD. Means all these segments are perpendicular to the same line AD. And there is one property. If lines are perpendicular to the same line, then all those lines are parallel to each other. So, here we can say that this PA, QB, RC and SD, all these segments are parallel to each other. So, that we will write in the next statement. Therefore, seg PA is parallel to seg QB is parallel to seg RC is parallel to seg SD. What we have used here? as lines perpendicular to the same line are parallel. Means this PA segment QB, RC and SD they are parallel to each other. For time we will consider these three parallel segments. Can we consider these two lines as transversal? Yes, why not? And we can use here the property of three parallel lines and they are transversal. What is the property? The ratio of the segments made by three parallel lines on some transversal is equal to the ratio of the segments made on another transversal by same parallel lines means PQ upon QR is equal to AB upon BC. Similarly, these three lines are parallel. So, here also we can use the property of three parallel lines and their transversal. Therefore, QR upon RS is equal to BC upon CD. Just see by property of three parallel lines and their transversal, PQ is to QR is equal to AB is to BC and QR is to RS is equal to BC is to CD. As QR is common in the both the ratios as well as BC is also common, we can combine both the ratios. Therefore, we get PQ is to QR is to RS is equal to AB is to BC is to CD. Now the given values of AB, BC and CD are AB is 60, BC is equal to 70 and CD is equal to 80. So respective values will put, we have got here PQ is to QR is to RS is equal to 60 is to 70 is to 80. Now we will cut the common factor 10. So we got PQ is to QR is to RS is equal to 6 is to 7 is to 8. Consider the common factor as X. So, PQ will be equal to 6X, QR will be equal to 7X and RS will be equal to 8X. So, that will write in the next line. Then, as these points are collinear, that P dash Q dash R as well as Q dash R dash S, all these points are collinear, we can write PS segment is equal to PQ plus QR plus RS. Just see here, PS is equal to PQ plus QR plus RS. Now, what was the value of PQ? PQ was 6X, QR was 7X and RS was 8X. So, respective values we put, we got PS is equal to 6X plus 7X plus 8X. Now, after adding all values, we got 21x and PS value was 280 given. So, that also we will write. So, next step we got is 280 is equal to 21x. Means, x is equal to 280 upon 21 means 40 upon 3. Now, this value of x that is 40 upon 3 will substitute in this to get the value of P 
PQQR and RS. So let us put the value. PQ is equal to 6x. X, x value was 40 upon 3. Putting the value we got PQ is equal to 80. Similar way, QR is equal to 7x. Putting the value of x we got QR is equal to 280 upon 3. And RS is equal to 8x. X value was 40 upon 3. Putting the value we got RS is equal to 8x is equal to 320 upon 3. Therefore, the foot line is answer PQ is equal to 80, QR is equal to 280 upon 3 and RS is equal to 320 upon 3. Now, let us learn the last problem of problem set 1 that is 13th problem which is higher order thinking lever problem. Just see in figure the vertices of Square D, E, F, G are on the sides of triangle A, B, C. Angle A is equal to 90 degree. We have to show that D, E square is equal to B, D into E, C. Now concentrate on this right hand side. B, D and E, C, the triangles we will choose whose sides are B, D and E, C. Of course, these two triangles have the sides B, D and E, C. If we are able to show these two triangles similar, then the ratios of the sides will be equal. And after cross multiplication, we may get something like this. So, what we are going to do? We are going to consider these two triangles. One more thing. This one is square. As it is square, side GD is equal to DE is equal to EF is equal to FD as well as all the angles will be right angles. So, let us write down that in our solution first. Quadrilateral D E F G is a square G1. Therefore, D E is equal to E F is equal to G F is equal to G D. Sides of square. Similarly, angle G D E is equal to D E F is equal to 90 degree. G D E and F E D they both are 90 degree means G D is perpendicular to B C as well as F E is also perpendicular to B C. So G D is perpendicular to B C and F E also is perpendicular to B C. Therefore these two triangles triangle B G D and triangle F E C they both became right angle triangle. Now we are going to consider triangle B G D and triangle B A C. In these two triangles angle G D B and angle B A C they both are right angles triangle as well as angle B is common in triangle B G D as well as triangle B A C. So, both angles which are congruent will write in triangle B A C and B D G angle B A C is congruent to angle B D G each of 90 degree and angle A B C is congruent to angle D B G common angle. Therefore, by A A test this triangle B G D and triangle B A C they both will be similar. Therefore, triangle B A C is similar to triangle B D G by A A test of similarity. Similarly, we can show triangle F E C and triangle B A C both similar. So, no need to write all the steps once again similarly. Triangle B A C is similar to triangle F E C. This will mark as 3 and before what we have written triangle B A C is similar to triangle B D G. This will mark as 2. See in equation 2 we proved triangle A B C is similar to triangle B G D and equation 3 we proved triangle B A C is similar to triangle F E C. Now using transitivity when first triangle is similar to second and second is similar to third first can be similar to third. So these two triangles are similar to each other. So from equation 2 and 3 we can write 
triangle BDG is similar to triangle FEC. Now, when two triangles are similar, the sides are in proportion. So, the ratio of the sides will be equal. Therefore, BD upon FE will be equal to GD upon EC. The reason is corresponding sides of similar triangles. Now, as it is a square, all sides are equal. That we have written in equation 1. Therefore, from 1, we are going to write for EF and for GD, this DE being side of square. Therefore, BD upon DE is equal to DE upon EC. And after taking this cross multiplication, we got BD into EC is equal to DE square. After writing in proper way, we get DE square is equal to BD into EC. 